Today we're diving into the nine fascinating facts you didn't know about building muscle after turning 30. We're about to embark on an eye-opening journey into the realm of fitness and muscle development, especially for those who've crossed the threshold into their 30s. And even if you're younger than 30, you can still learn from this video. Before we go any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Now you might be asking yourself, can I really build muscle after 30? Well, the answer is a resounding yes. Scientific research and practical experiences have proven that age is not a barrier when it comes to building muscle. In fact, turning 30 can be the start of an exciting new chapter in your fitness journey. So, if you've hit the big three zero and are looking to build muscle, stick around. You might be surprised by what you learn. First up, let's talk about protein. It's your best friend when it comes to muscle building. Protein is like the building block for your muscles. It's a bit like bricks in a wall. Without enough protein, your body simply can't build new muscle. Now you might be wondering, why is protein particularly important as we age? Well, as we get older, our bodies naturally start to lose muscle mass. This is a process known as sarcopenia. By consuming a sufficient amount of protein, we can help to slow down this process and maintain our muscle strength. But it's not just about muscle building. Protein also plays a vital role in muscle recovery. You see, when we exercise, we create small tears in our muscle tissues. It's protein that helps to repair these tears, allowing our muscles to grow stronger and bigger. So, whether you're hitting the gym or simply want to maintain your muscle mass as you age, remember to keep protein at the forefront of your diet. Remember, your body needs protein to repair and build new muscle tissue, especially as you age. Next, let's discuss carbohydrates. They're not the enemy, folks. Carbohydrates play a crucial role in our bodies, particularly when it comes to muscle building. Think of them as the fuel that powers your body's engine. During workouts, your body needs energy to lift weights, run, jump, you name it. And where does this energy come from? You guessed it, carbohydrates. When you consume carbs, your body breaks them down into glucose, which is then used as energy. Any glucose that isn't immediately used gets stored in your muscles and liver as glycogen. During exercise, your body taps into these glycogen stores to keep you going. But it doesn't stop there. Carbohydrates also support muscle growth by stimulating insulin production. Insulin is a hormone that helps shuttle amino acids into your muscles, promoting protein synthesis and, in turn, muscle growth. So don't shy away from carbs. They provide the energy you need to power through your workouts. Let's move on to meal frequency. Believe it or not, it matters. You see, your body is a machine that needs consistent fuel to perform optimally. Just as a car can't run without gas, your body can't build muscle without a regular intake of nutritious food. Now you might wonder, why not just eat three large meals a day? Well, it's about balance and sustained energy. When you eat smaller meals frequently throughout the day, you're giving your body a steady stream of nutrients. Think of it as a slow, steady drip of fuel rather than a few big splashes. This approach not only helps maintain blood sugar levels, preventing those infamous energy crashes, but it also aids in muscle growth. When your body has a constant supply of nutrients, it can continuously repair and build muscle tissue, especially after a tough workout. So instead of sticking to the traditional three meals a day, consider five to six smaller balanced meals. These should be rich in protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates to keep your body running like a well-oiled machine. Eating regularly throughout the day can help keep your energy levels steady and support muscle growth. Now let's talk about something we all love, sleep. It's not just about sweet dreams or escaping reality for a few hours. It plays a critical role in the muscle recovery and growth process. You see, when we snooze, our bodies get to work repairing and rebuilding the muscles that we've strained during our workouts. Sleep is the time when the body produces most of its growth hormones, which are essential for muscle growth and recovery. These hormones help your muscles repair themselves, grow larger, and get stronger. So, you could say that while you're dreaming of your fitness goals, your body is working hard to make them a reality. Yet, many of us are guilty of trading sleep for other activities. We stay up late to watch TV, scroll through social media, or even squeeze in an extra workout. 
but skimping on sleep can actually hinder your muscle growth and can lead to fatigue, poor workout performance, and increased risk of injuries. So don't skimp on sleep. It's essential for muscle recovery and growth. Remember, your body needs time to repair and rebuild, and it does most of this work while you're catching some Zs. So make sleep a priority in your fitness journey. Next, let's talk about core strength. It's more important than you might think. Core strength is the backbone of all fitness activities. It's not just about achieving that coveted six pack, it's about much more. Your core muscles, which include your abs, lower back, and obliques, are a crucial stabilizing force, keeping your body balanced and stable as you move through your daily activities and workouts. When you have a strong core, you can perform physical activities with greater ease and fewer injuries. It enhances your balance and stability, not just in the gym, but in everyday life. In terms of muscle building, a strong core allows you to perform strength training exercises more effectively, ensuring that the right muscles are engaged during each exercise. Moreover, a strong core acts as a powerful foundation for your body, allowing you to control your movements, maintain proper posture, and reduce the risk of falls and injuries. So whether you're lifting heavy weights, running a marathon, or just picking up a grocery bag, your core is there, silently and effectively doing its job. Remember, a strong core supports everything else you do. Let's move on to workout variety. It's not just about avoiding boredom. Workout variety is a key component in any fitness regimen, particularly when it comes to building muscle. You see, our bodies are incredibly adaptive. When we perform the same workouts day in and day out, our muscles get used to the routine. It's like they develop a sort of muscle memory. And when this happens, the growth tends to plateau. But here's the twist. When you mix up your workouts, adding in different exercises, changing the order of your routine, or even altering the weight or reps, it forces your muscles to work in new ways. This can help to break those pesky plateaus and stimulate muscle growth. Think of it like this. It's like giving your muscles a pop quiz. They need to figure out how to handle these new challenges, and in doing so, they grow stronger and more adaptable. So, don't be afraid to shake things up a bit. Try a new exercise, change your routine, or add in some high-intensity intervals. It's all about keeping your muscles on their toes, or in this case, on their fibers. Switching up your workouts can help keep your muscles guessing and growing. Now, let's talk about post-workout nutrition. It's not just about protein shakes. After a rigorous workout, your body is like a sponge, ready to absorb nutrients and start the recovery process. While protein is crucial for muscle repair and growth, it's not the only player in the game. Carbohydrates also play a vital role. They replenish the glycogen stores in your muscles that you've depleted during your workout. Consider this, you've just finished a high-intensity workout. Your muscles are tired and your glycogen stores are low. Consuming carbohydrates post-workout refuels these stores, providing your muscles with the energy they need to recover and grow. In addition to protein and carbs, healthy fats are also important. They aid in hormone production and inflammation reduction, which are both key to muscle recovery. But remember, timing is key. Ideally, you want to consume your post-workout meal within an hour of finishing your exercise. This is when your body is most primed to absorb these nutrients and kickstart the recovery process. So don't forget to fuel up after your workouts. Your muscles will thank you. Finally, let's talk about water. It's not just for quenching thirst. Water, that clear, unassuming liquid, is a major player in the muscle building game. You see, every cell, tissue, and organ in your body needs water to function properly, and your muscles are no exception. Water aids digestion and nutrient absorption, two essential processes for muscle building. It helps break down the food you eat, allowing your body to absorb the nutrients, including the proteins and carbohydrates we've discussed earlier. These nutrients are then transported to your muscle cells where they are used for growth and repair. Moreover, water helps keep your joints lubricated, reducing the risk of injury during workouts. It also aids in maintaining your body temperature, especially important during intense exercise sessions. Dehydration, on the other hand, can lead to muscle fatigue and weakness. It can even impair your body's ability to recover post-workout. So the next time you reach for a glass of water, know that you're not just quenching your thirst, 
you're fueling your muscle building journey. Remember, staying hydrated is crucial for muscle building and overall health. Well, there you have it. Nine fascinating facts you didn't know about building muscle after turning 30. We've journeyed through the importance of protein, the role of carbohydrates, the significance of eating regularly, and the crucial role sleep plays in muscle recovery. We've explored the value of core strength, the need for variety in workouts, and the impact of post-workout nutrition. Lastly, we've delved into the essential role of hydration in muscle building. All these elements play a vital part in your fitness journey, especially as you navigate the post-30 landscape. To put these principles into practice, we've got a handy tool to help you out. In the description, you'll find our calorie and protein calculator. This tool will help you figure out your daily calorie and protein needs based on your personal goals, whether you're looking to build muscle, maintain your current physique, or shed a few pounds. Remember, each of our bodies is unique, and what works for one person may not work for another. So don't be discouraged if you don't see immediate results. Keep experimenting, keep learning, and most importantly, keep going. We'd love to hear about your journey. What's working for you? What challenges are you facing? What victories have you celebrated? Your experiences can provide valuable insights for others embarking on their fitness journeys. And please, don't forget to use our calorie and protein calculator in the description below to kickstart and track your fitness journey. If you found this video useful, leave a comment below. Remember, age is just a number when it comes to building muscle. And before you go, thank you so much for watching our video, and please make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to give up alcohol, watch the video on your screen next. Here's to your health and fitness.